The common concerns we're hearing in the industry today are, you know, one, first and foremost, trying to reduce capex. Uh, secondly, they still have wells that they have to operate, and their predominant product is producing fluids from the ground, so they are working to address their OPEX cost. Uh, this is done through a number of ways, uh, be it uh, be it reducing manpower in the field, reducing trips to uh, uh, reducing the, the milk rounds that they make to go check on wells, or even uh, in, in some cases and in instances where we can help them is uh, in implementing automation that can reduce, the, uh, reduce their OPEX. Manual operations create a lot of opportunity for lost production through uh, not optimizing a process. They, uh, manual operations don't provide you the real-time insight nor the ability to do remote control to respond to changing well events in a timely manner. Having casing and tubing pressure available remotely allows operators to get early indication on uh, plugging uh, via sand buildup or paraffin buildup. It allows them to detect liquid loading in the well or even um, a wellbore damage, uh, a wellbore damage event that could cause a blowout. Um, one of the ways to reduce costs in casing and tubing is looking at possibly wireless transmitters. Uh, typically, the RTU or flow computer is located somewhere across the pad and you have to trench all the way across the pad to be able to wire in a casing and tubing transmitter. Uh, if, you, if you implement a wireless instrumentation system, you can reduce the, uh, the, the trenching and the time required to get those transmitters up and running. In many cases, chemical injection programs run along without much insight and a lot of waste and it's never identified. Simply going out and measuring your chemical uses is, doesn't improve anything. It simply gives you an idea of how much chemical you're using. Once you take that chemical usage and equate it to a production rate, then you can start optimizing your chemical injection program. I've seen industry studies done where operators have identified well over a million dollars of wasted chemical use. One of the other big opportunities for OPEX improvement is around artificial lift programs. Uh, today, many operators are still operating with manual, manual processes with pneumatic control. That schematic doesn't give operators the insight to respond to changing well conditions and adjust their artificial lift program accordingly. Mm -hmm.